Your book needs to stand out from the competition. Most authors understand that is a part of successful authoring in the 21st century. But there's a key component of that equation that is often overlooked. Your book needs to have a strong title. Without a powerful title, your book, however well written it might be, is destined to fall behind the competition. What does that mean? It means that you've got to think that title through. Easy enough, right? <laughs> not so fast. Coming up with that just right title is not as simple as it might seem, however. What makes one title outperform another in the terms of clicks, likes, and sales is oft misunderstood. Some authors want to believe they can make something up, slap it on the cover, and leave it at that. Whatever sounds snappy or catchy at that moment should be okay, right? Wrong. That approach may have worked 10 years ago. Today, however, it is simply not realistic. Wherever your prospective reader is right now, they are likely being inundated with the covers and titles of literally thousands of books. They come as Amazon preferences. They show up as social media posts. They splash across full-page advertisements in print media. Book publicists, such as myself, understand there are a lot of options out there, and your title needs to cut through the noise. What I'm talking about is the idea of discoverability. What is that? In the simplest possible terms, discoverability means doing everything possible to get your book in front of the right prospective readers, forcing them to take notice of you and your message. There's a lot that goes into discoverability. The reality is that your book's title is an absolutely vital aspect of that discoverability formula. That's what you want, right? A book that's easy for your prospective reader to find? One that jumps off the page or the screen and commands their attention? I can show you how to do that. I can teach you tricks for titling your book in such a way that it stands out from the competition. The right title attracts readers because they know the book is a must-read. Titles describe the book's subject and should be compelling and persuasive. While a clever phrase can be appealing, in today's fast-paced competitive publishing environment, a title that offers solutions, a new approach, and is positive usually sells more. Judging by the fact that you actually picked up this audiobook, you understand how important applying proper book marketing techniques are to your overall publishing venture. Otherwise, you would have simply slapped on whatever title sounded good at the moment and been done with the whole thing. The book you are listening to now is the definitive guide to understanding what makes an effective book title. In the following pages, I will discuss specific areas and methods that, employed properly, will help draw attention to your book, give it the broadest audience possible, and convert into the only bottom line that really matters, sales. In this book, I will cover a wide range of important topics related to book titles. Some of them will seem intuitive right off the bat. Others, however, will probably strike you as being out of left field. What do I mean by that? Well, for example, did you know that you can use profanity in a book title? In Chapter 9, I will cover how a number of successful authors rode their potty mouth all the way to the top of the bestseller list. Subtitles are among the most important elements in a book's sales page presentation. Did you know that Amazon gives you room for 200 characters in your title? That's a lot of real estate. Filling up that space with an informative subtitle that is both keyword-rich and enlightening will give you a leg up in overall searchability. You probably understand what a book's genre is. If you're a fiction author, you'd better understand the difference between a mystery and a thriller. But did you know that you can effectively mash up book titles, creating a unique element of intrigue in your readers? Writing in the nonfiction space? You're going to need to have a grasp of keywords, specifically what consumers of your topic enter into Amazon, Google, and whatever other search engine they use when they're looking for a solution to their problem. Adding those to your title is key, as search engines favor title text over descriptions. The point is, I'm going to come at the topic of titling a book from a number of angles.